Well, the Scottish TUC was very active in engaging its member unions and individual union members in discussions around the key issues that were being debated in the referendum. Um, as an organisation, we didn't recommend to our members that they should vote either yes or no, but we concentrated on analysing the arguments from both sides, uh, explaining them, presenting them uh, to our members uh, and encouraging them to engage in the debate. Uh, in particular, we concentrated on the trade union agenda, that's the agenda of social justice, the creation of more and better jobs, the uh, fight against poverty and the reduction in inequality. Uh, and we challenged both sides of the debate to demonstrate why their version of constitutional change, either independence or Scotland remaining within the United Kingdom, would be better in achieving these objectives. I think the debate has been very much around social issues. Of course, some people decided whether to vote yes or no based on their national or class identity, but uh, we've asked people to focus both in both campaigns on the issues of social justice. And I think it was very obvious during the campaign that both campaigns did address these issues uh, and presented the case as to why uh, the constitutional settlement they believed in would be best for achieving a fairer Scotland. Uh, and I think we can take some responsibility as the Scottish TUC for ensuring that that was uh, the case. Uh, of course, now we need to uh, push forward with that agenda. A number of commitments were given by uh, those on both sides of the argument uh, in the run-up to the referendum uh, to improve social justice in Scotland, and we'll be ensuring that the politicians now deliver on these commitments. Um, I suspect that uh, many people don't appreciate the detail of, of the uh, situation in Catalonia. Um, having had a discussion with uh, colleagues in the UGT, uh, including the General Secretary, I'm much more aware now of the complexity of the situation here. Uh, and I think that the situation in Scotland was much more ordered. We had a, a negotiation between the Scottish and the UK governments which allowed a referendum to take place. Both sides agreed that they would abide by the result of that referendum. Uh, and that process uh, was undertaken and will now move forward uh, based on the outcome of the, uh, of the referendum on the 18th of September. I think I understand much more now about the complexities in the situation in Catalonia, uh, why the uh, people of Catalonia and the unions here are so determined that they should, there should be a referendum. People have the right to self-determination and some of the difficulties in getting the Spanish state to agree to that happening. Uh, so I, I think that the best way forward f uh, would seem to me as an outsider if I could comment, uh, would be that there would be a, an agreement between the Spanish state and the government in Catalonia that a referendum should take place and people should be allowed to decide their constitutional uh, future uh, and to do that in a way which, uh, uh, which ensures that the outcome is accepted by both sides.